So hello guys, uh, today we will be seeing uh, how to solve this, identify the largest outlier in an array. And I also want to say, uh, you can see this uh, exact same question coming in the Amazon's online assessment. It's just been two to three weeks uh, since I saw this problem. And again, I saw the same exact question in today's lead code contest. So we'll be seeing uh, how to solve this problem. So first of all, what does this question states? So you will be given an n elements. So there will be exactly n minus two elements, which are special numbers. And uh, the two elements uh, will be not there in this uh, special numbers uh, one will be the outlier and one will be the remaining sum of all those elements right so you can uh, read it here so we'll see so first of all uh, let us decode this question so what he told he told he'll be giving you total n elements in this n elements n minus 2 are special numbers correct okay n minus 2 numbers are special numbers and there will be two remaining numbers one will be the sum of the special number okay one will be the sum of the special number and another will be the outlier correct yeah, so this is the total n elements. So he'll be giving you like this, correct? So let us assume the sum of special numbers as x, correct? So we'll assume this sum, the whole sum of the special numbers as x. We don't know what that element is, right? And this whole sum of uh, n minus two special numbers are x, correct? And let us assume this outlier as some value y. So can I say your whole array summation will be in the form of two x plus y, okay? Your whole array summation will be in the form of 2x plus y. And in this x, uh, what is this x? This x is the sum of the special numbers, right? So let us uh, so let us uh, take this first case and uh, we'll just see like how it will be there. Okay. So the first case is 2, 3, 5, 10, right? So this is 2, 3, 5, and 10. So if you carefully observe, if you carefully observe, these are the first two special numbers and this is the sum of the special number and this is the outlier, right? So what is this sum? This is 5 and this is the sum of the special numbers, correct? So that is another five and this is the outlier. So can I say the whole summation, which is 20 is equal to, is nothing but two into five plus 10. And this is our outlier value, right? This is our outlier value. So I you understand uh, like, so you're, uh, if you carefully observe one point, uh, if you carefully observe one point, what I'm trying to say is, see, let us say two, three, five, 10, right if you carefully observe our summation will be in the form of 2 into x plus y right so if it is an outlier okay if it is an outlier let us assume this as an outlier like this is a y right so if we total if we subtract it from the total sum then uh, what our answer our answer will be uh, 10 right here uh, so if you divide this by 2 okay if you divide this by 2 on both sides what you'll get you'll get x as 5, right? You'll get x as 5. So can I say, if 5 exists in my array, then I can say these n minus 2 numbers are special numbers and it is the uh, sum of the special numbers. You're understanding, right? So see, uh, we'll just uh, dry run on another case and we'll just see how I'm trying to say. So let us uh, take this example. Okay. Yeah. So... So let us understand through this uh, sample case too. So I've just written in the sorted order for better understanding. So we have understood that the total summation will be in the form of two into x plus y, correct? Here the total summation is minus eight, okay? And what is this x? This x is the sum of the special numbers and this y is the outlier. So we don't know what value is an outlier, correct? So we'll go to this value first thing. I don't know what uh, value is an outlier. So I'll assume this as an my outlier, okay? So what I'll try to do, uh, so this is the main equation, okay? So let us uh, subtract this outlier on both sides. Then what it will give us? So it will give us 2x. So if I uh, subtract y here, so this y will be cancelled. And this minus 8 minus y, correct? And what is our y? Our y is minus 6, right? Our y is minus 6. Now what that will give us? 2x is equal to minus 8 and this will become plus 6, right? So it is saying 2x is equal to minus 2. And our x is minus 1, right? Our x is minus 1. And you need to check in the remaining elements, is there a minus 1 is present? So if the minus 1 is present, I can say it as an outlier. So how can I say? See here, if you if you uh, make this sum, which is 4 plus minus 3 and minus 2, it will give you a value of minus 1, right? So what are, so this is a special number and this is a special number and this is a special number. And this is the sum of the special numbers, correct? So you're understanding, right? So let us uh, make a dry run on to the next possible one. Okay, so let us uh, assume this as our potential y. So you need to uh, iterate on every element and subtract on both the sides and you need to find uh, whether it will be a possible outlier or not. If it is an outlier, you need to maximize it with your answer. 
okay see here if this is an outlier what will be our answer if you subtract it from both sides and this will give you minus 5 and what you'll try to do you'll try to buy two but since it is an odd number there won't be existing any 2.5s uh, any fractions right in our arrays so given our array are all integers we cannot afford an odd odd integer here right so we can't take that as an outlier right so so now we'll go to this minus 2 okay now we'll again follow the same procedure what it will give it will give minus x and our x will be minus 3 right our x will be minus 3 so if this is an outlier and if this is the sum of the special numbers okay if this is the sum of the special numbers then can i say these are my special numbers and this is my sum of the special numbers and this is my outlier right so you're understanding right so this can also be a one of the potential outlier right so because uh, if you add this uh, minus 6 plus min 4 plus minus 1 it will give you minus 3 right so again now you'll go to minus 1 you similarly uh, repeat the procedure and if you go for 4 as well so what you'll try to do so subtract 4 on both sides what you'll get you'll get 2x is equal to minus 12 right so what your x will be your x will be minus 6 if your x is present in in these remaining elements then you can say this is an outlier for sure okay you can say that is an outlier for sure so you're understanding right so since the summation of remaining n minus 1 elements is a twice x so there has to be so there has to exist an element x so if you remove that x automatically the summation of the remaining elements will be another x right so what i'm trying to say is so see if there is a minus 6 in this element then automatically the remaining summation of these elements will be another minus 6 right so can i say you can directly say these are your special numbers and this is your sum of the special number and this can be your outlier right so this is uh, what exactly you need to do uh, you just uh, you know convert that into an equation and you need to iterate through values you know to satisfy that particular equation so we'll just code it up okay so we'll just uh, uh, see how to code this solution okay. so first take in the size so i'll take the total sum as zero and i'll try to maintain the frequency of my elements in my map okay so first thing okay uh, i'll just uh, go through array and i'll add in my total sum and i'll increment the frequencies of that respective elements okay now here our total sum is equal to 2 into x plus y right so there exists some of the special numbers and other special numbers sum plus an outlier so this is our total sum value right so now uh, what we'll try to do we'll compute the answer so initially i'll assume it as minus one and i don't know what value is an outlier right uh, yeah so what we'll try to do so let us assume this current value is our, is our current outlier okay so we'll be incrementing our outlier count from our map now uh okay now what our x value will be now our twice x okay so let us say a temp value which is total sum minus our current outlier okay so this is our value twice x okay this is our value twice x now if it is an odd number then you can't uh, find that exact x value in the remaining elements right because fraction elements won't exist correct so if it is an even number so you'll just uh, divide with 2 so that your x will be there in the temp value and if your map is containing that x element in the remaining x elements okay so what you'll try to do you'll try to maximize this uh, value in your answer okay oh, sorry this current outlier so this can be a current outlier correct right so you need to just uh, finally return the answer okay so what i'm trying to do over here is i'll just say so first thing so i'll just uh, maintain the frequencies of all these elements in my map which is empty so when i'm assuming this as my current outlier so i'll decrement the frequency of this current outlier okay so now what are remaining so it will indicate the remaining elements in my map okay so then uh, what i'll try to do this is uh, total sum will be minus 12 right so if you divide it with 2 you'll get minus 6 and you'll try to find this element in your map directly okay so if it is present then the remaining element sum will be equal to this one why because if you are subtracting twice x minus x then your summation will be x right yeah so you can understand that one so yeah and after after this again you need to increment your outlier count okay because because you can find another outliers also and this could be a part of a special number so yeah if you, while you're assuming this value as a current outlier you'll just subtract the frequency and after that you'll just increment the frequency and you can compute the solution like this so we'll just run this you can see it is accepted so we'll just submit this 
okay uh, so we'll just see like uh, what is going wrong yeah so what we have to do this is minus 5 and 17 sorry uh, so yeah initially you need to initialize with some large value because since the values are ranging from minus 1000 to 1000 you can take any value which is less than minus 1000 and i think now it will be working fine yeah so this is what it is so if you're still having any doubts you can comment down below i'll be happy to reply you